Okay, this lesson is on functions, um, increasing, decreasing, and constant intervals, identifying those, as well as the maximums and the minimums of a graph. First of all, what is a function? You should remember from Algebra 1 that a function, an equation, I'm sorry, is a function if no x values are repeated. It means there's all distinct x values. It doesn't ever turn back on itself. The graph will then pass a vertical line test. Okay, so looking at these two graphs, you ask the question, is it a function? In order to know, all I do is draw a vertical line. If it only hits the graph in one place, then yes, this is a function. So this is a yes, this is a function. Example two, draw the vertical line. I hit the, the graph in more than one place, so this cannot be a function. But what that tells you is the x values are repeated. x is one here, down here, and x is one up here. So again, all right, now looking at the increasing, decreasing, or constant intervals of a graph, okay? Looking only at the domain, okay, we're only looking at x values. Be careful of that. You can determine an increasing interval. Visually, it's going uphill. Okay, the slope is going up. Decreasing means the slope is going downhill or in a negative direction. So this is slope positive, slope is negative, or a constant means it is a straight horizontal line, horizontal segment I should say. So you should know that that's where the slope of a line is zero, okay? Going uphill, going downhill, or a straight horizontal line portion of the graph, that's the slope of zero. That's constant. Those are your three, increasing, decreasing, or constant. All right, so looking at these examples, um, we're looking at the graph. If you're looking from left to right, always because it's domain, you decide at what portions of this graph is it increasing as I move left to right. Well, as I move left to right, it's going uphill, and it continues to go uphill and go uphill forever. It doesn't ever start going downhill or to a horizontal line. So what I would say is, the, the left hand is to, from negative infinity. Recall that this is pointing to negative infinity. This is pointing to positive infinity. It increases all the way through to all real numbers. What portions of the graph are decreasing? Well, none, at no point is this going downhill from left to right, so I would say none. What portions of this graph are horizontal? None of it, so I would say none. Look at example four. Increasing, all right, decreasing and constant. Look at this. This is sectioned off, all right. If I section from here, this is increasing. Then from here down, this is a decreasing section, and then it increases again, all right. So I have to show these intervals. Remember the arrows. This is going to negative infinity, this is pointing to positive infinity. So from negative infinity, parenthesis, because that's infinity, to where it is x is neg negative one. All right, it's a closed circle because there's, it exists there. Closed circle bracket. All right, another place that it increases is where it's positive one, where x is positive one, to to positive infinity. So I go from positive one to positive infinity. So there's two sections of this graph that it have an increasing slope. Decreasing. That's what's happening in between here. So I need to show that from negative one to positive one the graph is going downhill or decreasing. What portions of the graph are constant or horizontal? None. Just leave it like that. Example five, increasing, decreasing, or constant. Okay, from here over, from the left, this is an increasing segment, it's going uphill. From here to here, it's horizontal, which means it's a constant segment. And then from this boundary all the way out, it is decreasing. Remember, your outer extremes are from negative infinity to positive infinity. So let's write this. From negative infinity up until you get to negative 1, it includes negative 1, the graph is increasing. Okay, from de for decreasing, <clears throat> that's where it's positive 2, goes all the way to positive infinity. That is the portion of the graph that's going downhill. The constant portion between negative 1 and positive 2, including those numbers, that's where it's constant.
that's all there is to identifying the intervals as increasing, decreasing, or constant. Let me know if you have questions. I'm sorry, maximum is the highest point for the xy of the graph. The minimum is the lowest point for the xy of the graph. Minimum is the lowest point, the xy coordinate of that graph, that's the low. That should make some sense to you. All right, look at this, example six. Here's this function, and I've graphed it for you. You need to look at it and eyeball it. Is it going to have a minimum, or does it have a maximum, a highest point or a lowest point? It's going to have one or the other. Well, it should make sense that this is the lowest the graph is going to get, so that is a minimum. And tomorrow in class, I will show you how to find that exact value for the point. So just leave that space open in your notes. We'll discuss it tomorrow. Right now, just identify the minimum. Does it have a minimum, or does it have a maximum? Example 7, here it is graphed. It's a parabola opening down. Does it have a minimum point, or does it have a maximum point? going on forever in that direction, negative infinity in that direction. So it has a highest value right here. That's the highest it gets, which means it would be a maximum. Again, in class, I'll show you how to use those, the graphing calculators to find the exact point that represents the maximum. So in your notes, here's what I want you to do is practice. Look at this graph, study this graph, find the increasing, the decreasing, and constant segments of the graph. And on the WISC, I have an, a question about this, so make sure you have this completed to answer your questions.